Hi everybody and welcome to Jo's Coffee Break Crafts. So today we're going to make a little tag. Now I'm going to create mine to go on an Easter gift and in these little videos what we're going to do is it's going to be coffee time so I'll just have a sip and during my coffee break we're going to create some craft item and as I say today we're going to create a tag and I need two of these um, for the little girls next door I've got little gift bags for them with some eggs in and some pom-pom chickens to make some lovely little gifts for Easter so that's what we're going to do so I'm going to start with one of the lovely watercolour tags from Lavinia and as I say we're going to have a series of get-togethers while I have my coffee break so I do hope you'll join me and we're going to start with our Tree of Courage and a Versafine Claire ink and this one is pine cone. Lovely, I love stamping in brown. So we're not going to use black at all for this. We're just going straight in with the brown. And as usual, Eric, my black Labrador, is sat under my craft table. So if you hear any snoring, it isn't me, it is Eric. And we're going to stamp this sort of partly on and partly off. I love with a, a tag, I love making gift tags. And I love the fact of just having, making it look like your tag has come from a much larger design. There's a lot of detail in this. It's beautifully drawn by Tracy. Oh, got a little bit look, didn't clean my stamp properly, but never mind, doesn't matter. We can soon get rid of that. I can see my fern going over that. After all, coffee break. I haven't got time to redo it. So this rabbit I'm going to put on, well, actually, it's a hair. We can tell by the longer ears. Um, I'm stamping him in brown again. And he's from the Wild Hair set. There's two. There's a large set and a small set. And I'm just going to wipe that again up just to get rid of that little bit of over stamping. It's important if you're new to stamping, don't rush with putting your ink on. Make sure you do get plenty of ink. And there's a little dip in my tree. Look, if you just look here, there's a little dip there. And I can just place the hair's bottom. Now my head might come in short, just in that little, little dip there. And while I'm holding that, I'm going to have another sip of my coffee. And we'll pop the lid on. This is where you multitask, don't you? When you're a crafter. Yeah, that's stamped beautifully. So we'll give that a bit of a blot. Versafine clay, it's your slower drying ink, so it's good to, to blot your work. And then we're going to use our circle mask and we'll add some sky. Now the beauty of this tag, you could actually make, create quite a few of these. If you wanted to create a few, let's just look, we'll have the moon there I think. And I'm using Della Blue in my Element Ink Pad. And we're literally just going to tap the ink in the lid. Again, don't tap it on your mat, no point wasting it. Pop it in the lid and then it's there to reuse and pick up. Start at the base of your, your mask and then move your way to the top. We'll take that away and let's just add a little bit at the top there. Lovely. And again, you know, such a nice way, look, to add the sky. And we'll just wipe our moon mask with Mr Inky Binky. And then we can pop that away. And we'll come in and add some landscape with Lime Punch. As I say, for me, this design, I could literally make, um, I'd, you know, you could make a matching Easter card. Now, I want it a bit deeper at the front, so I'm actually going to come straight in. There we go. And then I'll just alter that angle. I'm not going to add any more ink. And this is the flatter of our landscape masks. We've got a lovely hill one here, look. Look for a nice, I think that's a nice shape. And I'm just going to pop round that hill. Again, I'll put the lid on because I don't want to add any more ink. 
as I've got less ink on my brush, I'll get a, a lighter, just pop a little, the mere suggestion of a hill there in the background. And that just helps with giving that lovely perspective. As I say, if you had a few of these to make, you could make one after another. Now, let's add a little bit of colour. I was actually going to stamp some ferns, but I'm thinking let's add a little bit of colour to the tree with some watercolour pencils. So we'll just come in and add a little bit of brown. And I'm not going to overcook this. I'm not going to overthink it. And I'm going to add a little bit of grey just to give a bit of shade. So in the little nooks and crannies, you know, those little bits where we're at the base where we'd get a bit more shade. Let's add. And then I've got my water brush in my water pot. And this is the number one of the Lavinia water brushes. And I'm just, I've started at the bottom so I can drag the colour up, look. And then we've got fine detail here. And I'm just going to drag that colour all the way up into these lovely branches here. Pop those away. So now we'll add a little bit of... Um, shall we put the shade first? I think we will. I think we'll come in with our pastel pencils. These are beautiful. These are the Van Gogh plastic pencils. And I love pastel because it smudges so well. So my moon's there. So it'll sort of be under the rabbit, the hair and a little bit to the side. And then we'll add some there under the tree. And I've just got a biodegradable cotton bud here just to, to smudge that across. And I don't want to overcook it because I'm just, my plan is to stamp the little ferns at the bottom. So like I say, I don't want to overcook it. And while I've got them out, I'm going to come in with my white and just add a few little highlights down the side of our hair and just, and again, I'm just going to smudge that with my finger. And as I say, this will be beautiful design to um, repeat stamp. So I'm going to bring the fern in. And this is from, there's a lovely set called the Woodland Ferns. And there's two stamps on this, a larger one and a smaller one. And I'm going to come in with the smaller one and this lovely green colour that's called Shady Lane. But unfortunately, in my head, it's Shady Lady. And you know what it's like, I don't know about you, but with me, once I get that in a shady lady, it's just always known as shady lady. And look, where we had that little smudge look, nobody will ever know. Well, unless you tell them. But you won't, will you? We'll alter the angle look. We'll do a little bit of first and second generation. But what I really want to bring in is I've got a lovely stamp set, a foliage stamp set. And there's a gorgeous little flower here. And I almost want, because this is for an Easter card for the little girls, I want almost some little Eastery flowers. So I'm just going to bring in with this lovely yellow, which is called Cheerful. And I'm just going to add some yellow flowers down here. And while I've got that yellow, there's also a lovely long stamp here, which reminds me of hanging catkins. Now, if you, if you don't have catkins where you live, by all means look them up. I've no idea what other to call them other than catkins. But at this time of year, the th things that hang down from trees. And this one's a bit long for me, for this tree. So I'm just using a piece of copier paper and I'm altering the heights, look. And I'm having some longer ones and some shorter ones. But as I say, it's great for repeat stamping. So we'll just hang another one from there. Maybe a little one up there. I'm just going to turn it round. 
Oh, do you know, I think, I think that's enough. I don't want to overcook it with my catkins. I just think it's a lovely word, that, catkins. So there we go. It's very nearly finished. As I say, this is a perfect coffee time make, which reminds me, just another sip. Do bear with me. So the last thing, I'm just going to bring in some lovely orange Posca. Give it a good shake. And I'm just going to add some little Posca flicks around my tree with my catkins. Now you could add some glitter if you want, some sparkle. Just going to add a little bit down here. But I think for an Easter tag, that is beautiful. And didn't take long, did it? So there we go. I've got two for my little girls next door. And I'm going to put some lovely craft thread on there and go and pop it in on their little bags ready to give them for Easter. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to finish my coffee now and I hope you'll join me again for another one of our little Joe's Coffee Break Crafts. You take care. Love and hugs to everybody. Bye for now.